Hey folks, what we're about to do is uh, de-husk, de-shell these sable miner seeds that were just uh, sent to us from uh, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Friend Jeffrey sent us two bags of fresh sable miner seeds, which are uh, a palm that grows around his area. Area. These are a bush palmetto, very cold hardy species of palm, next to Rapidophyllum hystrix. So, um, before sowing, you have to take the uh, shells off these little uh, off these seeds. So, um, I mean, you can break each one individually, but it's a lot of work. So the way I do it, it's a really hard seed inside too, by the way. I take this old school fish bat in a stainless steel bowl, and I dump the seeds in there. You can do lots at once. It makes it much easier. So I take those seeds in there, and then we just kind of that. You can hear the shells breaking off. You can kind of break them with that, that bat. You can, if anything similar, if you have a similar item that's rounded at the end and heavy, you can use it to break the shells off of these, these seeds. Sometimes they're kind of sticky inside too. And then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew some into the baggies method, which you've probably seen our videos. And I'm also going to sew some into some seed flats. These like a lot of heat to germinate. So uh, if you have a nice warm house, or you have a warm greenhouse, then I advise you put them in there. I'm going to plant them into a Pro Mix HP or a Sunshine Mix 4, which is similar. It's a perlite with lots of, uh, or sort of peat moss with lots of perlite in it. And uh, wait for them to germinate. And they, uh, they germinate easily if you have the heat. Also watch for palm weevil. Sometimes these seeds can have palm weevil in them. I've had that before where they do have an insect in them. So be careful. So anyway, they're coming apart nicely with this bat. And uh, I got another bag to go. Uh, Jeffrey also sent us some uh, Sable Miner seedlings, some really nice ones um, that we potted up. So he sent us a lot of Sable Miner seedlings and thousands of Sable Miner seeds. So um, try that at home, folks. If you have Sable Miner seeds and they are still in the shell, try what I'm doing. It uh, It's quite effective. And uh, you can do it a lot faster than... Uh, doing them individually. It just take too much time cracking each one of these seeds open. All right. Thanks for watching and thanks again, Jeffrey, for the uh, seeds and the palms. Cheers and aloha. Happy palm growing.